Hello everyone and welcome! It is Jess here and today I'm going to continue to fill my sketchbook and talk to you guys about mindset and intention. We will dive into the artist's mind and I'll walk you guys through my thought process from start to finish. I will also discuss how I get most out of my time with my sketchbook. If you have not yet subscribed, click that button and let's begin. Okay, so have you ever opened your sketchbook, grabbed your pencils or your paints, and began to feel stuck or start overthinking? I think we've all been there as artists or creators, and initially when I started the sketch, that's exactly what I was experiencing. And after realizing it and accepting those feelings, I decided to set them aside, recollect myself, and set some intentions. And as artists and creators, it's easy to get lost or confused for a second, but it's important to bring yourself back, set an intention for yourself, and set a positive mindset. And with this page in my sketchbook, I decided to stream away from reference and use those feelings to create a piece on what actually I was experiencing in that moment. I set an intention and decided to create something completely out of my head based on the little flustered feelings that I experienced. I figured I'd use them to gear the energy into this piece. I wanted to see what I could create without depending on reference and just depending on solemnly the feelings and intuitive drawing that was happening. And boy was this a great, great experience. Since I'm constantly looking for ways that I can improve my art, I thought this was a great idea to just let my pencil run and see what I can come up with. I immediately knew that when I begin drawing and laying anything down on my sketchbook, all the worries go away and a picture or story will begin to reveal itself. And this is one of the main reasons why I love creating. Because you never know what to expect and sometimes you sit down and create something completely that you were not expecting. If you happen to find yourself to overthink or get worried about starting a sketch, tap inside to yourself and see what you can create based on your feelings. Set a positive intention, whether it's to simply complete a drawing or simply try to create more color. We are all on a creative journey, so I believe that with each sketch, each drawing, each painting, we're able to learn something new. Now, I wanted to slow down the video a little bit to show you guys how I carefully approach my sketch. As lines and shapes are revealing themselves to me and values, I'm slowly building up and developing this little story that began to come to me while I was drawing my feelings. I initially started with a figure and boxed out my composition, and eventually I had this idea of this figure in the sky and have her hair be the clouds, and she's in this very comforting pose. And while I was drawing, I immediately had a color palette in my head and eventually this little idea came to me of like these small wings that were coming out as a skirt maybe around her. And at this point I felt so good because I had begun drawing and I was feeling very confident and I was able to get myself going on a little flow. And for anybody who overthinks or feels a little bit of pressure, getting that momentum going really really helps. Just beginning and just starting eventually everything begins to reveal itself. So the idea that I had with this, I wanted her to be emerging from the clouds. I wanted to have this beautiful color palette that came to me randomly while I was drawing this as well, and some interesting ideas began popping up one after another. And that's the beauty about developing sketches. It'll take you into a lovely little journey on your own, and your sketchbook is the safest place for that. So as I was finishing up the sketch, I was getting the shapes nice and ready for the composition, but I also felt that it was missing something. So I had another idea come into my head where I had this girl sitting on the clouds as if it were me doing some thinking and this figure what that was arising from the sky was watching over her. So that became the main idea for this piece in my sketchbook. I know things got deep pretty quickly, but that's just exactly what I was feeling and I wanted to emulate that in my drawings and see, well, how I could push that even further. So once I drew that figure, I felt that it used up the space relatively much better than before because I felt that left side was pretty empty. 
and I decided to begin painting with my acrylics. We're just gonna get right into it. And for this, I used my golden fluid acrylics. As I'm laying out my paints and covering the general areas in this painting, I decided to limit myself to completely these four colors. I wanted the light pinks and the reds and the blue, like a turquoise blue with white. And going back to my intentions, I wanted to further challenge myself on creating a piece with just these colors. I am currently reading a book called The Courage to Create by Rollo May, and he talks about the psychology of creativity and how setting limitations lets your creativity strive even further, actually. So I found that to be a very interesting point and wanted to continue to express that and experiment with that. I also set an intention to use colors that I normally don't go for. It opened up some extra space for some more surprise. But overall, I was really trying to create a sensual, calming mood to this piece, and I felt that these colors actually represented that. I wanted her to hold this light of energy in her hands as she watches over the other figure and she's emerging from the clouds in this beautiful pink and turquoise colors. It was quite interesting because I ended up using colors that I don't normally use for the eyes. For example, I used the pinks and I substituted all the brown or green that you usually use for eyes with the pink tones since that's what I was limiting myself to. And as I was painting this, I was super happy with the way it was coming out because I initially started with all these worries and pressure and once I set that aside, I was able to create something from my head that best represent my feelings and I thought it was a great addition to my sketchbook. Not only did I capture something that I could say came from within, but it also helped me overcome something that I thought was a little bump in the road in my thought process. Towards the end, I was really grateful that I stuck with persisting on drawing and not giving up to create my idea and bring it to life. We all have a sense of magic that we can bring to our art because everybody's colors and shapes and brush strokes tend to communicate something completely unique to yourself. So I hope that explaining my process and my ideas with you guys today inspired you to go to your sketchbook and create something that comes truly from you in your own way. This way you can allow yourself to experiment and enjoy every process along the way. So the last thing that I like to do is add some finishing touches and little touch of my own magic to the piece and then I'm going to show you guys the finished sketchbook page. I always like to add a finishing element that unifies everything that's happening in the composition all together and I enjoy adding some little details in the end. After finishing this page in my sketchbook, I loved the way the palette looked so I ended up keeping it inside and here is the finished piece. That's all guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and comment below on what other videos that you would find helpful. Be sure to check out the description for where else you can find me on social media as well as my website. And I also put all the tools and supplies that I use down below. I hope you guys keep creating, keep experimenting, and keep having fun with your art. You'll be surprised with what you're even capable of creating. So give it a go and don't forget to do it with love. I'm just lastly taping in my palette because I thought it looked really cool next to the piece. I added a protective layer so that when I close the book, it's all gonna be safe. I found it helpful to protect my paintings in my sketchbook. That's all for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.